That was a tough trading work. This week the market was very active and I took 7 trades. And most of these trades were the losing trades and I finished this week in a loss. In this video we will go through the trades. We will discuss why it happened and we will discuss how to deal with losses in trading. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's start. This week started with a losing trade on the Piont New Zealand Pier. In using a daily time frame I spotted a major rise in trend line. And at the beginning of this week, the market was approaching that trend line and from that trend line, I decided to buy the market. My confirmation was the inverted head and shoulders pattern that was formed on an hourly time frame when the market was approaching that trend line. And the trigger was the breakout of its neckline. Once the neckline was broken, I set my buy limit order on the retest. You can see that then position became active. And after some time, I was stopped out. So here I report minus 75 peps loss. The second trade was on a European pier. Here I spotted the test of a key horizontal structure support on a daily. And when the market was approaching that support, my confirmation was the ascending triangle formation that was formed on an hourly time frame. I was patiently waiting for its neckline breakout and on a retest, long position was opened and here I caught a quick winner and 20 peps of profit were made. The third trade, euro dollar, and this time I was monitoring the reaction of the price to the support of that horizontal range that was formed on a daily time frame. And when the market was testing the support of the range, I spotted a double bottom formation. Yes, a double bottom with the equal lows. And then after the CPI report, the price violated its neck line to the upside. To me, it was a very bullish signal. And I opened the long position on the retest. And even though the market started to grow nicely after retest, then we started to push. And here I caught a losing trade and minus 42 peps of loss. Trade number four. This time I spotted the harmonic ABCD pattern here on European pier and its completion point was matching with the horizontal structure support. From that support I was looking for buying and on an hourly time frame I spotted multiple confirmations. First of all the price violated the resistance of that falling wedge pattern and moreover here we formed a local tiny little double bottom pattern and its neckline was violated to the upside as well. On the retest, we opened a long position with my students. And after some time, after some fluctuations, we were stop hunted right here. Here we got a crazy stop hunt. Here we got a crazy manipulation. And with this long work, the market maker managed to hunt our stop loss. And here we reported minus 21 peps of loss. Number five, again, Piont New Zealand. And again, I was looking for the opportunity to buy the pier. And this time the market reached a key horizontal support. And I was monitoring the reaction of the price to that support. And I spotted a tiny little double bottom formation. And after the neckline breakout, long position was open on a retest. And here I managed to catch a quick winner. I made here 50 peps of profit. However, you can see that then the market went much, much higher. And I am very sad to conclude that I didn't manage to catch this continuation. Unfortunately, the treat was closed and this rally here was missed. Then here goes the loser, Euro Aussie Pier. I spotted the breakout of a key level here on a daily. The price violated that structure and then we got the retest of that structure. You can see that here on each of the time frames, we can see how nicely the market violated that key level. And then retesting that a double top pattern was formed. So I decided to open the short position on a retest of the broken neck line of that double top. And you can see that then Beers tried to push, but then Bull started to push the price up again and here I reported 46 peps loss. The greatest winner of this week is the trade on dollar cat pier. It was the last trade that was taking this week and this trade here was based on this major rising trend line here in a daily and a double bottom pattern that was formed on a four hour time frame when the market was testing that trend line. With my students we were waiting for a breakout of its snake line to the upside and on a retest, a long position was opened. 
and here we meet 120 pips of pure profit. Now about the end result. Treating all the 7 treats, I was risking 1% of my trading account per treat, and I finished this week with half percent net loss. What does that performance signify? Does it mean that it is the time to change the strategy? And does it mean that the top-down trading strategy doesn't work anymore and the confirmations that I apply for trading doesn't really work? The hard truth about trading is that the market cannot guarantee you the stable results. Some wicks will be profitable, some wicks will be losing once, and some wicks you will finish around the break-even. Trading for more than 9 years and talking with hundreds of struggling traders from different parts of the globe, I realized that the struggling traders are constantly looking for something. They are looking for the secret strategy or they are looking for the genuine signal provider who will constantly generate the consistent profits, who will consistently generate these stable returns no matter what, without the losing streaks, without the huge losses and stuff. In trading, your returns will always fluctuate. And no matter how good you are, sometimes there will be the periods when you will lose the money. The main goal of a trader is to learn to win more than he loses. And even though I finished this work in a loss, I knew that in the long run, my trading strategy will give me a chance to recover. The start of this year was very profitable, and at the beginning of this year with my students, we got very nice winning streaks, we made very nice money, and now it is the moment for the market to take its share. And funny thing is that after the losing streaks, after the periods of losses, many traders either quit trading or they decide to change their trading strategy. And that is the mean, that is the biggest mistake that struggling traders make. Because you should remember, there is a very simple rule that after the winning streaks, go the losing streaks. But after the losing streaks, after the losses, come the winning streaks. And more you lose, higher will be the chances that the market will give you again the chance to make money. But why am I so convinced that the secret trading strategy does not exist? Why am I so convinced that the ideal signal provider does not exist? You have trading view with thousands of pro traders from different parts of the world. They share their analysis and for some reason no one manages to achieve even 90% win rate. Hundreds of trading YouTube channels are available for you. So many websites, so many trading websites with free analysis with the premium premium analysis, so many telegram channels with free and premium signals, and you are still looking for something. You keep searching. You believe that somewhere there, there is that one single trader who constantly wins, and you keep searching. And now please just answer this question. Why this ideal signal provider is hiding? Why no one knows him? Why this golden trading strategy is the top secret and no one knows where to get it? Or Probably traders, you are just looking for the thing that simply does not exist.